Hey guys, in today's episode, I go over why you guys should hit all the advertisements to your favorite YouTube channels, along with the ISP Theta running alongside the Boss Super Overdrive. Stay tuned. What is up you guys, it's your boy Luis Torres, and if you're new to the channel, hopefully by the end of this episode you will hit the subscribe button, if not, you can go fuck yourself. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so, you know, I feel like I need to kind of share something that I learned after becoming a YouTube, uh, YouTuber, right, and having my own channel. You know, this didn't start out as a channel. It was literally me buying a guitar and just being like, let me film myself uh, and doing an unboxing and seeing if anyone cares. Um, <laughs> and some people did, some people didn't. Um, fast forward, and now we're over 5,000 subscribers. So thanks to you guys. Um, so before my channel kind of became a channel, I remember just watching different YouTubers and just being ridiculously annoyed at all of these stupid ads. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, and if you're this old, you'll remember that ads would only run in singles. And then a few years ago, they decided, you know what? Yo, you know how we're going to make money? More money? As YouTube, right? As YouTube, the company we're gonna go ahead and not feature just one commercial, we're gonna have two. And of course, an entire board of directors just screaming and yelling at the fact that that just blew their minds away. You know, if you can make money with one commercial, you can make more money with two. Um, and then that just made it worse. At the time that they did that, uh, I still didn't have my 1,000 subscribers along with the 4,000 viewable hours that I need uh, to start monetizing. So eventually uh, I ended up hitting my 4,000 hours, which is 240,000 minutes, um, and ended up reaching that first and then following up with the 1,000 subscribers. So once I hit the 1,000, um, or once my goal was, hey, let me make sure I get to 1,000 subscribers, uh, I instantly was able to monetize, and then I had to learn the whole monetization thing. And a lot of YouTubers don't get that. You know, they don't understand that there is a science slash method to the madness. And, you know, some guys go about it um, in a way that I think is kind of, I don't want to say shady because there's a lot of people doing it, but I think it's shady for me, you know, uh, which is reaching out to companies, hey, I'm Luis Torres. Uh, I know you guys have a bunch of different products. Why don't you guys send me five? I will charge you $2,000 and I will feature your products, give it a good review or a bad one, which is, I put that in quotes because it's never bad reviews, especially when you're getting paid, right? Uh, you can't bite the hand that feeds, right? So. You know, that's why it's, I think it's kind of shady, shady, shady. Um, so I've always looked at that as kind of the dark way of making money. Um, alternatively, there's another way, but it gets you guys, the viewer, yo, just, just so annoyed and so frustrated. Uh, and that is the ads that pop up when you watch my YouTube channel. So keep in mind, you know, I have relationships with guys like James from Armored Amplification, Jordan from High Wind Amplification, um, Tony Peppers from uh, Peppers Pedals in New Zealand, 
uh, Daniel from, you know, like, I feel like I have these relationships with these people, Karsten from Clear Tone, um, and I just think it's crazy because some of these guys are just, I don't want to say some of them, they, they're all seriously the nicest guys, um, you know, and I feel like if I were a YouTuber and I charged these companies, like, yo, you, do, you know, do you understand how much $2,000 uh, how how much it takes to earn two thousand in profit to then pay a YouTuber? You know, some of these pedal companies are making a hundred bucks a pedal, so a hundred bucks a pop. They now have to be able to earn at least two thousand. And for the most part, a lot of these YouTubers are like, not only do you have to pay me two grand, but if you send me whatever amplifier or pedal that you have, uh, or that you're sending, I'm gonna keep that too. So. You know, imagine being uh, an amp builder that sells an amplifier for 2000 You got to pay a guy 2500 You have to ship him the amp, and he gets to keep it too. Uh, so you're, you know, you're, you're losing out that much more. So in comes these ads that I know. Yo, I know that it, it crazy it drives you nuts. But here's one thing. I make money, and it isn't a lot, okay? It's literally pennies. When you see an ad pop up and on the upper right hand corner where it says advertisement, click on that. Only to your favorite YouTubers. Like if you like the nonsense that I create, yo, hook your boy up. You know what? I know it drives you crazy, but you know what? When I'm watching Truck Driver Sean's channel and an ad pops up, yo, I click on those. You know why? Because I know that my boy's making money. And that's just for real, bro. Like that's just, I know that he's not making a ton of money, but I do know that in order for him to come up with content, he has to buy amps. He has to reach out to companies to see if they are willing to ship him a pedal for him to use and not even a brand new one. You know, Sean will literally reach out to these companies and he's like, hey, I'm truck driver Sean. I have a YouTube channel. Um, can you, do you have a demo pedal that you can ship to me so I can check it out and review? And you'd be surprised how many companies are like, no thanks, uh, which I think is mind boggling. And oftentimes like me, he'll just be like, well, you know what? I still want to demo it. So let me buy it and review it anyway. Um, so, you know, shame on the companies that don't appreciate the, the, the small YouTuber, you know, cause we, you know, we hustle, man. You know, if you don't know how much we hustle, you know, we hustle, we try, we, Everyone that I know writes down notes on good ideas, um, bad ideas, <laughs> um, subjects that no one wants to touch, um, topics that may burn the bridge, um, like the video I made the other day with solar guitars, but I don't give a shit. That's, you know, I, I don't work in music, so I don't care. So I can make a video like that and not worry about, ah, oh, all... I'm not getting endorsed by another guitar company because Solar has blacklisted me. Yo, I'm I'm free of all that craziness, which is why I don't care, and I can do things like that. Um, but there are some people that can't do that. Um, but just know that those are those those things start out as ideas. So you know, lots of times we sit down, we try to figure out, okay, what's is there any late breaking news? Uh, like the guitarist from Iced Earth, and I just didn't want to touch that. I'm like, ah. It's too hot. It's too spicy for me. Um, and because it's, it's political. So I just, you know, but those, you know, we sit back and we, you know, aside from spending literally tens of thousands of dollars, you know, uh, more often than not, you know, part of that is letting you guys know, like, hey, if you, and it doesn't have to be me, yo, like you can watch my channel and be like, I hate this guy. Uh, and trust me, I have haters out there. Um, but I don't care because to me, this is my hobby. Like it makes me happy. It makes me whole. I love chatting with all you guys. You know, every once in a while, someone's just like, Oh my God, it's Lewis Hurz. I'm like, yo, it's legit, bro. It's just, I'm just a normal dude. I have a few little businesses and that's it. You know, if you lived by me and you had a house that had mold all over it, you could be like, yo, Lewis Torres, come to my house and, 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 clear off all this mold and i'd be there you'd be like oh snap look it's luis torres with galoshes on removing all the moss and 
mold from my roof and the siding. Um, so, you know, I'm no, I'm no one special, but you know, I, it, it, I appreciate when I look at my stats and I can see how many people that day clicked on an ad, whether you like Coca-Cola or watch, you know, or, or an ad pops up for depends, like, you know, like, you know, again, whether it's me or anyone else understand that there's a lot that goes into these channels. So if anything, you know, if you want to hook me up or hook any of my other boys up or anyone whose channel you, you appreciate, you know, if, if a, if a video pops up, I make no money. If you click on it, I make like 15 cents. The problem is that, or the, the difference is that those 15 cents, if a hundred thousand people click on it in a month, like, yo, I could buy other shit. Um, and so can truck driver, Sean, and so can all of your favorite YouTubers, you know? So, you know, I kind of just felt, I, and I wrote this note down that I wanted to mention, you know, that, that you guys, and I do this, I, you know, I do this myself because I'm on this side of the fence. So now, you know, the years that I didn't understand that, that I was always, always frustrated and always annoyed. Um, I pulled a complete 180 once I reached this side and realized that if there's a YouTube channel that I really enjoy, that I love the content, where the person makes me laugh, um, makes me uh, want to come back and see their their, uh, their next video, their next episode, um, you know, understand that for me, I see an ad click. And then keep in mind that it usually stops your video, opens up to another video or to another screen, uh, and then you can hit play on the video again. So you're almost not having to wait, but, you know, click on those ads. Click on those ads. Again, it doesn't have to be me. Yo, like, I have people that randomly click on them, but if it were a little more consistent, that would be great. That would be amazing. Like, you guys have no idea. Um, along with guys like Truck Driver Sean, who literally, yo, his entire career is just trucking around the United States, you know, and he'll just stop and be like, hey, I'm going to buy another guitar. And, yo, that costs him money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not free. You know, he doesn't, even when he was on, when, when he was on Solar, yo, Solar doesn't hook dudes up with free guitars. You know, all these guitar companies, you know, if you are uh, uh, an artist, yo, you're getting 10, 15% off a uh, hyper expensive guitar as is. So it's, you know, you get a guy who's endorsed by Solar and, you know, he's still going to spend 1200 bucks on his guitar just you know just a little less than you guys would um so yeah you know all that content that everyone comes up with that could be you know you can jot that down as time spent working for a company but it's yourself and you're literally doing it for free uh unless guys click on advertisements so i don't mean to sound like i'm preaching but again, I cannot stress whether it's me, if I make you smile, if I make you laugh your balls off, if, you know, all your favorite YouTubers that you watch on a consistent basis, if you're, if you're content with the content that they share with you, um, when an ad pops up, you know, click on it. I click on everyone's ad. And if it comes up more than once, I click on that again. If they have five commercials in a video, I may be like, damn son this dude's gonna get rich and i click on those i click on them because yo if if a guy has five commercials in a video he's hoping that someone hits at least one i'm the guy that hits them all because i know he's gonna make you know if he has a bunch a dollar off me but you know what a dollar off me and a dollar off of a thousand other guys yeah it's a thousand bucks the guy gets at the end of the month and even crazier if it's 3,000 people and you get that much. And you know what? A guy like me can buy more amps. Yo, you know how you know how much I'm waiting, waiting for the day that I can make a certain amount in one month, buy an amp and just gift it away to, to someone. Like to me, yo, I, I think that would be absolutely amazing to do, you know? And um, so, yeah, so make sure that your favorite YouTuber, yo, when those ads pop up, click on them. It means a lot to them. 
Guys, sorry that I completely blew your time out on this one, but hit the subscribe button, jerk face. Stop messing around and hit those damn ads. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, next video is going to be me running my ISP Theta, which is a preamp through my KSR PA50 along with my Boss Super Overdrive pedal. So stay tuned to the next one. That'll be up in a little bit.